This clip is about making circle graphs. A recent expert that was describing a healthy 1500 calorie diet suggested that 600 calories of the diet should be carbohydrates. 450 calories of the diet should be proteins. And 450 calories should be made up of healthy fats. So if we were asked to make a circle graph of this data, the first question, a uh, circle graph is most appropriate when you have a whole and you're breaking it into parts. Uh, so we want to figure out what part of this uh, circle belongs to carbohydrates, what part belongs to proteins, what part belongs uh, to healthy fats. And so the first step is to figure out the fraction uh, that represents carbohydrates. There's 600 calories that are carbohydrates out of 1500 total. When we divide that out we get 0 0.4. When we do the same thing for proteins and divide it out, 450 divided by 1500 we get 0 0.3 and the healthy fats are exactly the same so that would also be 0 0.3. Once we have this fraction we change it into decimal. We actually want to take that decimal. That's the part of the circle that is going to be calories. We need to multiply that by the total number of degrees in a circle, which is 360 degrees. Okay, so 0 0.4 times 360 degrees, if you punch it in your calculator, you get 144 degrees. This is for the carbs. For the proteins, it's 0 0.3 times 360. You multiply that out, you get 108. So 108 degrees of the circle is going to be proteins. And these healthy fats are 0 0.3 times 360, which turns out to be also 108 degrees. Okay, so what we've got is three regions of this circle graph. One is for carbs, 144 degrees. Um, one is for proteins, 108 degrees, and one is for fats, 108 degrees. Um, when I go back to draw this, I um, go back and remember that a couple of things. For a full circle, it's 360 degrees. A half circle is 180 degrees, and these quarter circles are 90 degrees each. If I slice that again into eighths, they would be 45 degrees each. So those basic numbers, 360, 180, 90, and then to the 45, that should help you estimate how big these pieces are. For my purposes, for this class, if you have the right number calculated and you have the picture roughly approximating uh, the correct answer, then, um, then that will be fully acceptable for me. So let's take a look at this circle. So we start, maybe one of the biggest challenges is drawing a reasonable circle. Okay, here's the center. And now I'm going to just start from the top. And I want to draw 144. I could take out a protractor and try to measure it. And that would be one way to do it. But I know that 90 degrees is a right angle. I know that 180 is over here. So 144 is... Uh, about halfway, um, maybe a little bit more than halfway between 90 and 180. Let's see, 180 and 90, that's 90 degrees. 45 degrees would be um, 135, and this is 144. So uh, another pizza slice would be here. It's a little bit larger than that. So 144 looks like about that. And this is the number of carbs, okay? And I'm going to put just um, that that should be about 600 calories. Uh, others might want us to write the percentage, and it would be 40%, okay? Um, so that's uh, the, the part of the pie uh, or the circle that is uh, carbohydrates. Now, it's easy because this is proteins and fats, and so we're going to split... Of the remaining portions. But if I look down here, if I didn't have that so convenient, um, 
I would look at 90 degrees is right here. 108 is a little bit more than 90 degrees. So it ends up being just a little bit more than a, a corner here. Okay. And in our case, the nice thing is we would split the difference here because they're both equal. That doesn't always work out that nicely. So I'm going to put the next category over here, proteins, and that's 400 calories. And that is about 30%. Okay. And then fats are this last category, um, and that's 400 calories, and again, that's 30%. So the key to doing this is to figure out what fraction belongs to each piece. So 600 over 1,500 is 0.4. That's writing it as a decimal. Uh, then I take that written as a decimal. I actually multiply that by 360. And we find out the portion of the circle that actually is um, carbohydrates, 144. We do the same thing for proteins. It's 450 divided by 1500. It's 0.3. So it's a decimal. We take that decimal, multiply it by 360. We get 108 degrees. And the fats are exactly the same. When we go to graph it, we remember that 90 degrees is a corner. 180 degrees is a straight line. 360 is a full circle. Um, each of these pizza wedges is 45. So this one, 144, is a little bit bigger than a quarter of a pizza and, a, and another slice. So it's a little bit larger than that. 108 is a little bit larger than a corner. Uh, and then the, um, we have a one that's a little larger than a quarter being the last section. That's a circle graph.